Hi everyone, I'm Heidi from My Media. This is M4 Mini Bowling Rotor. Today I will introduce how to build a local physical server for M4. Open M4 self built server guide. If for one unit M4 device, host configuration, CPU needs one core or above, RAM needs 0.5 GB or above. HDD needs 14 GB or above. No CPU requirement. Blade requirement. NIC needs 100 Mbps above. Operation system choose DBAM 9.2.0 to 9.13.0. If for 10 to 20 M4 device, Host the configuration. CPU needs four core above. RAM needs one GB above. HDD needs 14 GB above. No CPU requirement. Village requirement. NIC needs 1000 Mbps above. Operation system choose DBM 9.2.0 to 9.13.0. About software demand. First, with public IP or do a port forwarding for 59999 TCP or UDP port. 59999 port used for data transfer. Second, download DBAM 9.2.0 system. Third, after installed the system, then run below command to install M4 bowling server. Reboot it after finish it as above screen shot. Log into M4 server, use your name to check. It will show as below if installation correct. To choose your server 59999 port, after connection was successful, then log in M4 Mini control panel. Open M4 IP address by browser. Username is admin. Default password is 12345678. Then log in. Click the one setting. Click multi 4 g setting. Choose M1 server custom. M1 server input your server address. Port choose 59999. Then click save. Above settings, Already, then you can use M4 as a mobile router from anywhere. Many users will ask why M4 bowling router cannot 1 plus 1 equal 2. Let's introduce bowling principle. Firstly, the principle of aggregation is to maximize the bandwidth by taking advantage of multiplexing network capacity. In theory, it will be one plus one equal two. However, there is an additional cost in the process of splitting and uh, assembling the data flow. So it is not a one plus one equal two relationship at any time. And the best aggregation can achieve more than 1.5. Thirdly, Due to the numerous communication protocols, in many applications, especially for some applications of TCP, if the transmission capacity between several cards is drained, that is, one card is very strong, the other card signal is very weak, then the weak card will often drag down the effect of the strong card. This is a bolding diagram, you can see. That's all, thank you.